Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, I'm basically, this is basically going to be a bit more of a chat video, almost like a diary session kind of thing. Just to, you know, share some of my moments, my personal moments with you. Dentine is all about empowering women and encouraging us to use our smiles and our positivity to achieve our dreams. Whether that's a career dream or personal dream, nothing is more powerful than a smile and a positive attitude. So when Dentine invited me to sh participate in this campaign and share my moments in where I grabbed opportunities head on and I was able to empower myself using my smile and my positive attitude in life, I, I thought this was such a great idea. So one moment in particular came to mind when I was invited to participate in this movement. And that was about nine years ago when I was in university in the UK. I was studying for my bachelor's degree and it was basically a degree in advertising and marketing. So I was in my second year and as a lot of other women and people in general would know, um, sometimes you go ahead and you start doing something and then realizing halfway through, actually I don't think this is where I want to go in my life um, and that's what happened with me. I was approaching the end of my second year and that's when I realized, you know what, this isn't necessarily the discipline that I really thought was going to make me happy. But this degree was basically setting me up to become an account manager um, rather than a creative, which is basically what I realized in second year, oh, this isn't gearing me up to be the creative that I know that I am and that I want to end up being in my professional life. So I basically applied uh, or was going to start applying for a postgrad, a master's in creative advertising. So in order to do this, I needed the backing up you know, the letters, the sort of um, endorsements of certain people in my faculty, and that included my tutor. Let's just say that conversation didn't go so well. She was extremely skeptical about, um, you know, my wishes to go forward with doing something more creative, with doing a creative degree. Um, and in so many words, basically what she just said to me was, honey, you're not a creative. Well, no, no, I am a creative. I, I am a creative, I've always been. And it just took me a few, few more years to sort of realize that this was something that I actually really wanted to do with my career. I went back to her office persistently for weeks afterwards because I really needed her endorsement. It was part of the whole requirement of my application. And, you know, instead of going back to her and telling her, you know, and having a bit of an offish kind of, um, you know, persona or attitude or mood with her, I just killed her with kindness and, and was just really positive. And once she saw that I kept coming back and I was, you know, I was sure about this. Um, she she had to believe in me. She um, ended up giving me the endorsement that I needed and the relevant letters that needed to be written and all of that. And um, I know now, looking back at it, is if I had sort of let her take charge, um, then I wouldn't be where I am today. That's that's for sure. Um, I'm currently doing something that I love to do and that creative degree that I ended up doing as my postgrad has really helped me with so many other parts of my life, um, including my blog and my YouTube channel, etc. So the way I see it at the end of the day is if you take that power, if you empower yourself and keep up this positive attitude, um, you will have plenty to smile about. If you're a happy person and you're confident in yourself, 
then that radiates on the outside as well. And for me, honestly, especially as a woman, there's nothing more empowering than taking charge of your happiness. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.